Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Photoshop and Lightroom editing tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that nasty noise in your images. And with wildlife photography, um, oftentimes there is noise in the background and in these shadows. And I don't know if you can see it uh, on the video, but you can see if I zoom in you can see all that noise in there and that's normal um, when you have shadows to this degree you're going to have that noise but how do you get rid of it without affecting your subject here that doesn't have any noise if you just apply no, a noise <coughs> um, filtering to the entire image then this is gonna go soft it's gonna get kind of uh, smooth looking and you're gonna lose a lot of your detail so we don't want that so the best way to do this if you have if you have an image like this where you have a central subject and you have a fairly um, empty background this will work perfectly what I'm, what I'm about to show you however if you have a lot of sticks or trees or you know brush back here you know this is not gonna work as well but for this type of subject it's gonna work perfectly now there's two ways that you can select an object and probably the easiest way is if we go over here to the left you're gonna see the quick selection tool okay um, that's one way so we can click that and I can actually come into my subject here and select the subject this way okay that's one way but if you have a clearly defined subject such as this there is this amazing little button up here at the top of your screen called select subject and all you have to do is simply select that the uh, the algorithm that Photoshop uses will then go in and try to find your subject in this case you can see that it selected my subject perfectly and that's what we're looking for and it's, it really did a great job now <clears throat> there are still some spots in here that we can correct and so we can click on the quick selection tool off here to the left hold down the alt key and we can go ahead and, and correct some of these spots that Photoshop didn't quite get but that was the only one actually so it does an amazing job of selecting now this is the fun part so I mentioned in the, in the title that I'm going to use the Nick uh, solutions for this there's a whole set of plugins called the Nick collection and you can see the palette here that shows uh, you know various Nick tools and we're going to use a tool called define now you don't have to use define you can use another method I'm going to show you also at the end of this I may just do another video on that one actually so we've got it selected now this is the key thing image I mean at, uh, selection inverse and now it's got just the background selected okay so all you have to do now is click over here on your define two that's gonna launch Nick Nick is gonna make uh, another layer here and a mask that's gonna pop up and what Nick will, what Nick is doing right now is it's actually going in here and it's averaging various areas now you'll notice that it tried to average this area here so we need to drag that to a area that we want to be part of the calculation and drag this maybe to a lighter area so there's three you can actually see three rectangles and those rectangles are taking an average of all the noise and coming up with an algorithm and using an algorithm to determine you know how much noise re noise reduction it needs to do now over here in the bottom of the screen let me just go ahead and 
if you go over here and you hold it in certain areas, you'll see down the bottom right, there's a before and an after of what it's going to do with a noise correction. Now I can change these boxes, these rectangles, to larger sizes, and I can move them around, like I said, to get a better, uh, a better noise reduction calculation. But that's up to you. That's all available for you to use. So let me just click OK. Once we're happy, it's going to apply the the noise reduction, and we're good now. You don't have to use the NIC tools for this. I, I think they do a good job with reducing the noise. You could use the built-in uh, Photoshop tools, uh, so, so their noise reduction tools, or you can put a Gaussian blur on the background. And that's another type of solution that I often use. And I'm going to do that real quick for you here. Let's go back to where we were. I'm just going to undo all the, the Nick stuff, uh, take it back to the selection. Okay, I'm going to select inverse, it gets my background. And now you can go under filter, and we can either do uh, a noise, see, noise. We can use the reduce noise feature, or if you would rather, we can do, see if I can find it, blur, Gaussian blur. And we can add a little bit of blur to the background, click OK. And that's if you don't want to use the NIC tools. And so if we go in here now, you can see that that noise is, is non-existent. And we've, we've applied a blur to it. So either way, whether you use noise reduction or you actually apply a blur to the background, you know, you can do it. So, you know, here's our noise from before. And see if I can get a dark spot here. Here's our noise from before. And here it is with the Gaussian blur. So undo Gaussian blur, redo Gaussian blur. So you can see how effective it is. Now obviously if you have a, a more cluttered background it becomes more difficult but it can still be done. The main point of this is always get your subject selected exactly the way you want it. Then inverse your selection to the background and then apply your, uh, your blur or your noise reduction. That's all I had until the next video. Thank you.